Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. So as promised, this is my second homeworks video that I am uploading today. I have been going a little bit ham on the new releases because Harry has come out with some pretty incredible gourmand um, fruity scents <laughs> for the spring and summer. And I love his gourmand blends. I would say they are definitely some of my favorite. So um, I did in fact pick up the Apricot Cobbler from HSN. For the longest time, um, by the way, I will link this candle down below. For the longest time, I was refusing to purchase this because it's been out for a couple weeks. I just couldn't bring myself to do it because I was a little bit miffed about the fact that the shipping was more expensive through HSN. So QVC's shipping is, um, I believe it's $5.50, and HSN had the shipping for the exact same two pack of candles for $7.50. HSN and QVC are essentially the same company. They are shared by like a parent company, I believe, um, or QVC is the parent company of HSN. I'm not exactly sure what their structure is, but I can tell you that basically they are the same thing. And so it really kind of made me mad that um, the, the candles were more expensive to ship and also that the price point was not the same as the QVC pricing. Now, when I bought this, it was still like 44.50 or 44.90 or whatever it was. Um, but the shipping had come down. And as soon as the shipping came down, I was like, okay, I can I can bite at this point because I had a $10 off code that I could use. So I picked up the apricot cobbler and I also grabbed the sponge sugar um, because of course I was gonna do that. So look for the sponge sugar review probably next Sunday. Um, but I wanted to get this one up because this was honestly the scent that I think I was most excited for. So I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. By the way, Harry will be debuting on HSN, I believe on April 1st, so that should be tomorrow. Um, I think that he is going to have some kind of today's special available, and my hope, fingers crossed, is that he is going to, or that the price, I don't think Harry is in charge of this, to be totally honest, I think it's an HSN thing, but, um, the, I want the price point of these candles to come down to match the price point of the candles on QVC, which is like $39.50 or somewhere around there. So I do think that they are overpriced at almost $45, but I think the QVC price is a little bit more fair, although I don't think the shipping and handling will ever be fair between QVC or HSN. Um, when I want to buy backups of this, I will be waiting for a free shipping opportunity from HSN, and then I will snag what I want at that point. But anyway, oh gosh, my camera's starting to die. Please don't die. <laughs> Let's get into the actual review. Okay, so um, the description that you get is a blend of juicy apricot, pie crust, clover honey, brown sugar, and vanilla cream. Okay, you guys, um, I, I don't love the label on this, but I do think that the label does a pretty decent job of getting the point across of what this candle smells like. First and foremost, I get mostly the apricot note. It is a very sweet, warm apricot note. Apricot has a very specific scent and it's actually one of my favorite fruits to like smell and eat. Um, I don't think that I've seen anyone else do an apricot candle before and so I was really excited about this. I just think that that sweet apricot scent, it's its very intense and um, it's almost slightly peach-like to me, but there's, there's a definite difference between the two. But I kind of feel like if you like peach scented things, you typically will also like apricot scented things. In terms of that pie crust, I don't get a whole lot of that. That being said, it is in there. It's just the apricot kind of overtakes the cobbler portion of this, 
which I'm fine with because I think it's really nice. Um, the honey, there is a sweetness to this, but it's not overly sweet or cloying. Um, brown sugar, yes. I, that is that sweetness that you're getting. Brown sugar has more of that like molasses note to it. So it's um, it's a like a warmer type of sugary scent um, than just like a crystallized sugar, if that makes sense. And then there is a kind of vanilla note like as an undertone to this, but um, really what you're getting more of here than anything else is that fruity apricot note. Um, do I wish it was more cobbler or pie-like? Kind of, because I feel like that would have been amazing, but I am perfectly content with what this smells like, to be totally honest, and I want backups of it. It is so good, you guys. <laughs> um, it's good to me because I love these types of scents. If you are not a fruit person, if you are not a sweet person, this is probably not gonna be your thing but I love it. Um, the strength on this is, for me, this is barely a seven, like six and a half is more like it. So it's not the strongest. I do wish it was a little bit stronger. And the throw of this here in my open concept entryway, um, the throw is just about a seven. So um, when I have it here, I can smell it in the upstairs part of the house as well as the majority of the downstairs. But when I put this in my usual burning location, which is the kitchen around the corner here, um, it does sort of struggle to go upstairs. Um, it's more, it's more concentrated in the rooms where I am, which is here, I'm just gonna show you guys here. This open concept, kitchen, eating nook, there's my kid, uh, family room area, and then obviously the entryway out here. So, and this is the tall ceiling here. This actually is fantastic for helping candles like travel around my house. Well, the fragrance. <laughs> um, so yeah, and my dining room is over here. I can smell it in the dining room as well as this area over here too. And my, this is my formal living room. I can totally smell the candle through the vast majority of the downstairs, but um, you know, it doesn't really go up the stairs when I have it in the kitchen. When I have it right here, it's perfect. It fills the vast majority of the house. I wish it was stronger. Um, the throw I think is okay, it's fair. Um, but I do wish the overall strength was more of like an eight or a nine for this one, just cause I really like it. And I would like to have more of an in your face type of, um, experience with this particular one. That's not going to be everybody, but that's definitely me. Um, especially with this scent. I'm going to give you guys a look at the wicks here. They are the kind of flatter wicks that tend to lean just ever so slightly if you can see that i just trim like the very very tip of them and um this is my uh, second burn here yeah and um, i'm very careful with the trimming of these they pull out incredibly quickly within probably just over a half hour i had a full wax pool across the entire top and I was able to start smelling everything very easily. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan, you guys. I think this is beautiful. It's really well done. It'd be nice to have a little bit more of that cobbler in there, but I'm okay with it just being apricot. So if you think that you would like an apricot scented candle, this is it. Sorry, I just kicked the stand here. Um, this is definitely it. You should try it. So. Again, I'm hoping that tomorrow the pricing comes down, um, fingers crossed. Um, maybe by the time that I put this video up, the pricing will be adjusted as well. Um, if the pricing doesn't come down, that, that would personally really annoy me because I kind of feel like that's a little bit of like a gouging tactic on HSN's part to like not match the pricing of their, um, basically their sister channel QVC um there there should 
really not there's no difference in the candles like if this was some kind of like superior formulation i could totally understand that but the quality is exactly the same as the qvc candles so there's no reason for there to be a price difference so anyway there's that i will link this down below for you if you'd like to go read up a little bit more about it yourself Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Let me know your thoughts on this candle if you have picked it up down below in the comments section. And please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.